As the game is evolving at a rapid pace and players are seeking an edge over their competitors, so too are the paddles that players play with. So recently there has been news, talks, callouts of paddles breaking and giving players unfair advantages on the court called delamination. In this video, we will go over delamination, what it is, and how to detect signs of it. Before we get into it, this video is brought to you in collaboration with Selkirk University. And I just want to start off saying that this issue can happen to any company, any paddle, at any time. So first off, delamination is currently a catch-all word used by the general community to describe a paddle malfunctioning and performing differently than how it was intended. The other issues that are lumped under delamination that need to be addressed are disbonding and core crushing or core failure, which I have lovingly dubbed corruption. Typically, when one of the aforementioned issues occur, the paddle is much louder and balls fly off the paddle extremely fast. More on this later. Okay, so to understand delamination, imagine the layers of carbon fiber or fiberglass that make up the face of the paddle as these three fingers right here and the honeycomb core has the next three fingers right here. Delamination occurs when the layers of the face separate from each other, which is this. Disbonding refers to the separation of the face from the core, which is this. While core crushing or core failure corruption. happens when the honeycomb cores become warped or crushed, like this. Now, actual delamination is more likely to occur if the edge guard of your paddle becomes undone and you accidentally hit the unprotected edges on the ground or any other surface. This can expose the layers of the face, leading to their separation and potentially compromising the paddle's playability. Ensure that your edge guards are secure and check for any peeling edges or layers on the face of your paddle. Now, disbonding is a rare issue usually caused by manufacturing defects or problems with the adhesion process. Signs of disbonding include higher pitch sounds when striking the ball, uh, resembling a tinny like, kind of twang instead of a typical thud that you hear. I'm not gonna lie to you, this can be pretty hard to detect unless you have extensive experience hitting a lot of different paddles. Next up, we have core crushing or core failure. Corruption. This happens when the honeycomb core cells lose their rigidity and compress, resulting in a trampoline-like effect and the ball shooting off the paddle face with high velocity. To check if your paddle's core is compromised, press firmly into the paddle face and listen for a crunching sound. You feel that crunch in it? Oh yeah, you hear that? In conclusion, delamination is an umbrella term for the three paddle failures. Delamination itself, where the face layers separate, disbonding, which involves the separation of the face from the core, and core crushing or core failure, Corruption. where the honeycomb core is compromised. So regularly inspect your paddle to ensure you are not experiencing these issues. All right, that's it for this video. Till next time, play better. I'm out.